and this is the Coonsley that leads up to the tomb, the dwarfy stain through the bog with its own miniature waterfalls. If you go round uh, to about the south side of it, somebody's cut an inscription in Arabic. The Arabic inscription uh, says, I have sat for two nights and found patience. Oh, you found the interpretation board. This is how you are so wise in the ways of science. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this unique monument, the Dwarfy Stain, has attracted attention for centuries. Many scholars have visited it and theorised. It's been described as a dwelling place of giants, of dwarves, and as the home of an early Christian hermit. Well, you wouldn't get many giants in there. Um, dates between 3,500 and 2500 BC, which I suppose makes it about the same date as Scarabre, carved from a single enormous block of stone, completely unique to Britain. No metal tools. That would take you an absolutely enormous amount of time to do that. I'm sitting now with my back uh, against the uh, the far side of the chamber opposite the door and it's giving a very interesting booming quality to my voice. Hi, what would you say the dimensions of this space are, Rupert? Well, it's about the same size as a, as a fairly inside of a large car, isn't it? Yeah, I thought... So I'd... it's a bit shallower. But, uh, you know, if, if, imagine sort of the, the space... It's like being in the back of a London taxi. Yeah, and uh, in the back of a London taxi, with you, if you had sort of four people sitting, two on the floor, two on the seats... Yeah. And then you've got the driver's compartment, which is this tiny little recess, this tiny little carved recess uh, in here, which seems to have some very interesting acoustic properties. Now, I thought we might test those out. Can you sing for me, darling? Get, get your head in here so we can oh, get, what would you like me to sing, get the resonance. What would you like me to sing? Cause you're gonna, the resonance needs to be back down here, doesn't it? La da 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 la 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 as low as I can go without my bollocks exploding. Oop <laughs> Was that your bollocks exploding? That's my trouser alarm. <laughs> your trouser alarm. Help, help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try again. La 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 it's about there, isn't it, the resonance? Mm -hmm. oh. um, aim, aim, aim for the, the chamber. Okay. Oh. Uh, there you are. Got it. La. Your trouser alarm I, again. I'll just turn off my trouser alarm. Let yes. me go for that properly. Because that, that's what you can hear. When I, I see it, you can hear it go modal. It goes yeah. to the resonance. It starts stepping instead of being... So let's sweep up and down and see where the, see where the resonance is. Uh, Tone as well. Now oh, there's two resonances there, quite close to each other. La, uh, uh, la. That's what the resonance is. Yeah, quite a long resonance, and you get the the octave above it coming out too. I mean, you would expect a large curved stone container to have resonance, but uh... before. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that with our garden keeper now would be our garden keeper now. I can't remember the third line, it's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> with our, what's it going? Before the end of the day, creator of the world, we pray that with there's something, something now will be our garden keeper now. You could look it up. I could, I've been turning on the transfer law. Fourth century, almost in there is. Te lucis ante terminum. 
in English is before the ending of the day, which I think most people would know. Right. So we're going to test out the resonances in this uh, right. this little rock cut tomb while seeing something suitably appropriate. Yeah, it's not quite Neolithic, but it's no, it's two th it's a third of the way there. Go from right within the void. I shall have another look at Google. <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually getting an internet signal from in this rock cut tomb? Absolutely, yes. Okay, so I'm actually right in the middle of the resonant space, in the middle of this rock cut tomb, in, in an amazing uh, bleak landscape on Hoy, and I'm getting an internet signal and checking the, the words of the hymn via Google on my mobile phone, which is uh, if you're singing to the creator of the world, I hope Google doesn't get any ideas. Oh. It has got some ideas. If you were a modern day pharaoh, you'd probably want Google in your tomb for the afterlife. Oh, absolutely. I, I would anyway. <laughs> Soon we will. Ah, here we go. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that with thy wanted favour thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O oh, Father, that we ask be done. Oh. Fuck the fuck off. It won't. That's the thing about the internet, it's got no taste whatsoever. <laughs> Sorry about that, spirits of the dead. <clears throat> Can we take it from the top? Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, how's that then? That's how's good. that? Okay, let's have a go. Um, let's try and get to Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that with thy wanted favour thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. It does give some sort of force to the, the argument that as these tombs were definitely meant to be entered and re-entered and people were probably carrying out ceremonies in here the acoustic properties could have been part of that you'd have chanted perhaps to try and pick those up because it's very obvious isn't it it is uh, you know it, it's especially because the rest of the tomb you know, two-thirds of the tomb is dead you know it's not resonant or very very slightly but this is so marked it's such a well-constructed space for it it's, it's hard to get away from the idea that this was deliberate and in fact part of the whole design. And if you've got two people singing slightly different notes, you might get some very good effects indeed. Yeah, I mean, you could possibly sort of get about two or three singers in here if they were very mm. intimate with each other, two, three, four, maybe. Gosh, you could get some really good effects. <laughs> yeah, and, and people think of singing as a performance, but if you are singing, you know that it can be a very moving, very spiritual experience for yourself. And you can imagine if you're singing with, with one or two very close friends or, or members of your family um, in celebration or in fear of, of, of some, something, uh, it could move you immensely. It would be a really powerful uh, trip to the other side, man. Particularly if you've got the deflesh skulls of the ancestors sitting along that, that little ledge in there in the, the recess, perhaps sort of staring back at you as you sing. Well, I'll tell you what, my father is a choral scholar from, from Cambridge and when he's gone I'll make sure I, he lets me do that and I'll report back to you on how it actually feels. <laughs> 